another device. How many are they going to come out with? Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Pro Color by Smoke or Smock. All right guys, this is the Pro Color 225 watt TC device by Smoke or Smock. It comes in a variety of colors. You know how Smoke or Smock comes out with all the colors for their kits. They got crazy cool colors. So I'm sure this one is going to be, if not already, is available in all those awesome colors. I do have it here in purple. So let's dive down close to the kit and I'll show you what it comes with and more about the device. Right here is the packaging that the Smoke or Smock Pro Color Kit comes in. It slides out, and here it is. Here is a do not eat packet. Right on top, we have the Pro Color Mod, and I got mine in purple. Under that layer, we have the user's manual for the Pro Color kit, a battery warning card, and a warranty quality control card. It comes with an extra glass tube, and it comes with a matching TFV8 Big Baby Beast tank, and I'm sure everyone knows all about this, but just in case you don't, it is a 24 millimeter diameter tank. It has a 510 pin on the bottom. It does hold five milliliters of e-liquid with two adjustable airflow slots on the bottom that are on stoppers, and it is a top fill with a hinge locking system you press down and swivel to open it, fill in that port avoiding the center post, swivel back push down to lock it. It is installed with a 0.4 ohm dual coil the V8 Baby Q2 and this coil is good between 40 and 80 watts but recommended for 55 to 65 watts. To change the coil you just spin the base off and spin out the coil and change the coil. Also in the kit, you get some spare O-rings and another coil. This is a 0.15 ohm V8 Baby T8 quadruple coil. Good between 50 and 100 watts, but best rated between 60 and 80 watts. You also get two tank vape bands and a micro USB to USB charge cord. All right, here is my Pro Color Mod. Up top, we have a gold-plated 510 connection. On the bottom, we have a hinge locking battery door and you can see that the batteries run in series. You can see the minus and plus down at the bottom, but it is also here at the top. It takes two 18650 batteries, which are sold separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my two batteries and it automatically started showing some color around this shield-like rim. We have the regulatory buttons, a micro USB port for charging and upgrading firmware, and this whole side right here is a fire button. On the back, you have a carbon fiber shield that says Smoke or Smock Pro Color 225 Watt TC. And there is some plastic wrap on this sucker, so I'm going to peel it off because I love it. Here, you want to watch? Ooh, peel porn. Oh, I fucked up. So shiny. Five clicks to the fire button turns the device on. You can see the colors light up. Look at that light show. It's this flashing rainbow light. And you can have different light displays. It can flash like it is now, or it can fade, or there's just a normal display with various times allowed, like always on, or when the screen's on, or while you're vaping. You can customize this, but like, oh my gosh, it's like a freaking disco party. The screen is pretty cool. It does display both battery lives, the power mode that you're in, which is wattage currently, and the level that we're at, as well as a seconds counter here on the side. You can also see the ohms here, and it does say ohms, with it in wattage on hard, the voltage, the output voltage, and a puffs counter. When you try to fire it with no atomizer on, it says no atomizer. So to get into the menu, click the fire button three times, and you enter the menu where you can adjust from wattage to titanium, nickel, or stainless steel, or memory mode. And then if you press the fire button one more time, you'll go into the puffs menu where you can reset your puffs, check out how many puffs you've had, press it again, and you go into the color mode, and you can change the color of your screen as well as the screen time. Press again, and you can go into the color settings, so I don't want mine to flash. And you can see the different colors. I do want 
rainbow. I think that's the coolest, but I don't want it to flash. Press and hold to change that. There's fade because the flash is kind of obnoxious for me. And then we can have it light up when the screen's on, when I'm only vaping it, or always on. And I'm gonna have it to be, or you can have it off, of course. I'm gonna have it when I'm vaping. That's the way I like to do that. See, it changed the seconds counter and the ohms and voltage to purple when I change that screen thing. So that's just another color customize you can use. If you try to fire it without a tank on it, it's gonna say no atomizer. I was gonna try to look at the colors, but that's not gonna work. In wattage mode, you can use the regulatory buttons to adjust by 0.1 increments, all the way from six to 225 watts, with a recommended resistance range of 0.1 ohm to three ohms, and three output modes, hard, normal, or soft. This does have upgradable firmware. We're in temperature mode, and you can adjust by one degrees Fahrenheit. This does go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit with a recommended resistance range of 0.06 ohm to 3 ohm. And when you're at 600 degrees Fahrenheit, if you go one more, it will switch to Celsius for Celsius users. And I believe it's 100 degrees Celsius to 315. I could be wrong, but let's check it out just in case. Yep, 315. So then once you're at 315 Celsius and you try to go higher, it round robins back to the lowest degrees of Fahrenheit. A quick way to change the output mode is to press the fire button and the plus button at the same time. And then you can choose soft, normal, or hard. To quick change the wattage, you can press and hold the fire button and the minus button between wattage and the temperature modes. Five clicks to the fire button will lock the device. And then you cannot change the power level and you cannot fire it. Five clicks to the fire button will unlock it. So it's a lot like all of the other smoke menus, but it's just a little bit different. Three clicks to the fire button, then you're in wattage. You press and hold to select, but if you just press once, you can toggle through the different setting pages, and then you press and hold to select. I'm gonna fill up my TFV8 Big Baby Beast tank with some Hoot Nut by Bonsai Vapor. It's a banana nut bread, so good. Use my code TIA20 for 20% off your order if you wanna buy this flavor or any of the other flavors on Bonsai's website. All right, I attached the tank and pressed the fire button and it is asking me atomizer new or old. I'm going to select new because I have not put this on there before and it is reading it at a 0.372 ohms and we definitely wanna take this way down in wattage but let's go back wow it goes really quick to FaceTime and I'll vape it for you guys all right guys oh, my camera was blurry for a second that is the pro color pretty cool if you like all the colors and lights and customizations this kit does go for around $75 so I'll leave a link below to where you can check it out with free shipping so not only does it have cool features like the auto recognition for the ohms of your coil and a puff monitoring system but it also has protection features such as a 12 second cutoff protection and short circuit protection overheat protection and low battery warning it blows some mega clouds with a TFV tank on here but oh my god I can almost I can almost vape these really well. <laughs> I say this every time I look at a smoke or smock product because the tanks, the TFV tanks just, they blow clouds. And I, I like my clouds, but like I don't like to be force fed vapor. So I'm still getting used to it. But I really do like this one. I like the shield light up. I like the screen better and the way the menu works is a tad different and I do like it. But I do love my T-Priv as well. But I think if I had to pick T-Priv or Pro Color, I'd pick the Pro Color because it has this type of screen with the lights and it's just cool. They both light, they all light up. Like all of Smoke's new things are coming with fancy light shows, but it's not enough to tear me away from my love from All-in-Ones. If you have the pro color or have tried it, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Again, I'll leave a link below to where you can check it out for yourself. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below. And I also created a Patreon account where I am uploading exclusive content and doing bi-monthly vape bundle raffles over there so if that's something that interests you check that link as well and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please join kasa.org and learn how you can fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia and thank you so much for watching